Hello, my everybody's. I'm Shad. My pronouns are he, him, and I welcome you to the second episode of Collection of Thoughts. Yay! I hope you are doing good. Sit back, relax, and enjoy today's topic. I am in a different location for this episode. I am close to a window, so if you hear something, it's because of that. There are some birds chirping around, so that's quite nice. Today, the light. The lights just cut off, and to that I say, well, we all need a day off. That's all right, and that has to do with today's topic, which is work. So I was taking a shower. I'm not sure why, but I just remembered how some people complain、um, that it is very common for people to ask each other this question when you. When they meet for the first time, they like to ask, "Hey, how? What do you do for a living?" or something among those lines. And well, that's not really the point I am criticizing. I just criticize the fact that when you tell someone, "Oh, okay, my occupation is this one," there is always a conception, like an idea,、uh, an image is born every time. You say that. Oh, and if you say like I'm unemployed, an idea also comes up. I am against、uh, preconceptions of your job and how it is linked to you, and by that I mean that there are certain expectations when it comes to your what do you do for a living and how you are supposed to be like as a person. Say for instance, you meet someone and they are an engineer. Just with that information, you can start to assume things about the person, even though you don't know them. But you do know how an engineer is supposedly supposed to behave or be, and、um, those are all labels and expectations. And sure, you can love your job all you want, but that doesn't define you. Say,、uh, if you tell someone, "Hey, I work at a fast food restaurant," that person is gonna assume that you have no money, that you're probably a student, or that you didn't study anything or something. And that's well, that's not necessarily the case. And also, it's important to remember that it's not your end goal. So even if you work at that, you can always do something else, like. The next month, I don't think that what we do should define who we are. And I'm talking about work today, but I mean as a general sense, all those labels like where you are from, where you grew up, should not really define you as a person, because you are so much more than that. Another example is, for instance, imagine a politician. Someone could possibly assume that a politician is well off. They are. Lucky to have that job because they have money or something. I don't know. But what if that person was actually forced by their parents to have that job and they don't actually enjoy it that much? So we can't just assume everything about someone based on so little information, especially if it's speculation. And I understand it helps us.、Um, the mind likes to. Generalize, and that's what I said in the previous episode when I talked about gender and how the mind likes to put everyone in the same box sometimes to help you get through life and make things a little bit easier. When it comes to jobs, I feel like in most societies they put a lot of importance in what you do for a job, as if that is your life mission, what you are meant to do. And it's okay if you would like to think as your job as something extremely important to you. You can love it, appreciate it, you feel thankful. But again, it's not who you are. Basically, don't let all these labels tell you who you are, because no one can tell you who you are, except from you. I remember、uh, some years back, I asked my partner a question. I said. Picture me, but without my voice, without my skills, without my likes and dislikes, without my eyes, hands, body, 
without my interests, history, what is left of me? And he said, um, nothing. So I found that really funny, to be honest. But I said, no, uh, I, what I'm left with, if you take all of that away, is essence, pure essence, my being, which exists away from all of those concepts of body and personality. In all of us, there is pure essence, which is beautiful, wonderful, and no one can take that away from you. So that was just a little thought experiment. So what do you think? If you have your own job, how does it relate to you? How much importance do you give it? We should remember to look at people beyond their labels, their physical aspect, which plays a big role, of course, and it is quite helpful at recognizing signs, but when it comes to truly understanding ourselves and each other, what plays a big role is our instincts, in, pa in fact. They call it a gut feeling. And where does the gut feeling come from? Is it logic? Is it your mind? Well, I think neither. I think it comes from a place that is a little beyond those concepts. And I let that gut feeling guide me in many aspects because I, I have full trust in myself. And by myself, I don't mean my body, my mind, but I mean my pure inner self, which is a, a bit of an abstract concept, but that's okay. Not everything can be defined with scientific words. I personally think that there is nothing wrong in asking other people about what they do and what they are interested in and stuff. But I think what's important is to remember that that's not what makes them a person. What they do does not define themselves. And whatever perception other people have of you, regardless if it's true or not, shouldn't really matter that much because you know who you are and that's what matters. I apologize for all the background noises during this episode. I'm not gonna go near a window again. <laughs> I should have probably started this uh, collection of thoughts th series when I was in Norway because Norway is really silent. It's almost scary. Just kidding. It's actually quite lovely and I miss it so much. But anyway, Thank you for listening, I hope it was interesting and remember, life is amazing and you deserve the best. I will see you in the next one. Bye bye!